Alright guys, it's me and this is really brain fuck machine at the hack the box and who calls name is Oija. So we are on the hack the box season 3 and we got here Oija that HTP. So as um actually this um the machine is really fucking hard and the people is rating it too bad. It's like um half of half and the user difficulty is really brain fuck. Um, then I decided to buy have to be used minus at this video. So if you remember, let's get started fastly. So if you're checking this is IP address, so it's just calling your Apache to default page. But then other things, as a for sure here, you can try oja.htp. That it will give you here burp suites with the burp suite about to here analyzing this website. Then you can try be looking for different here at the here about the web server if we can turn them or burp so at the MMA results you will see at this 3000 port here but it's not look like useful right now for us so it's because we're trying us to here three net font and redirect to here one or the dot so First of all, we have to be looking for AD port and then we can try to be get something at the 3000 port and looking for a 322 uh, SSH port protocol here. So um, let's here looking for FFUF results. So we are just get here developer. So what was it this developer is calling your status code 403. So let me looking for um, at developer Oija Oija oh my god HTTP so if it's turning as 403 forbidden page I mean so requesting forbidden for just administrator rules that means that is our target so how we can get it at so if you are looking for at the Gitia Oija.htp you will see here at the explore page at who calls Leila Oja.htp. So can we try register here? Alright. Okay, let me get password one. So it's maybe a botting more useful things. So can we just go here explore? Then we can accessing here their source codes. But it's not about the source codes if there we can try to be accesses it. We have to be focused on here HA proxy is over here. So we have to be try HA proxy and what does it mean? So if you are looking at exploit or for HA proxy, you will see too many things about this um to request smuggling on HTTP. So for example, you can check at this video. Um, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I was used this video, so you can try looking forward to different things about and how you can use an HTTP smuggling here. Then you will be understanding how is HTTP smuggling work there. So I was decided to go my burp suite and for example Gitia, it's not needed, you know, we just have to looking for this and sending on repeater. So if you're sending it it's no it's like like three thousand. Okay, so what this has to be so let let me turn on my burp again and sending this requesting oja.htp here okay let me send it on repeater so right now um, you will understanding and use this commands on your repeater but I was able to be looking for and use it it I mean, I don't know, it was really useful for me. Okay, let me try to be send it. It's, then it's just return as this. So then I decided to be here, the changing something with that. And it will be showing us to here at 
you know our target is here developer .htp. and they have here editor.php then we can call it here and remote cut execution or local filing collision so um, if you're gonna be tried that um, so I was saving at my notes it was really hard to be right there we can just try at editor.php and for file is app.javascript with HTTP smuggling here. So if I'm going to be sending it, you just have to be tried it fastly. Then you will be understanding, yes, it was really work because the bytes here is changing. So right now we can be analyzing your app.javascript file with this like that. So I was on the successful on the here to reading here um, app that Java secret file. Then I was broke and the paste here. There is two file we have to be focused on inet.shell and app that Java secret file. So you have to be understanding firstly what was the app that Java secret file. As the most important about app that Java secret. It was just work on listing on port 3000. So in other things, for example, to here, you can check it about it. its authentication seems to be based on presence of headers to incoming requests. To generate cookies function generates as hash using SSI256 and circuits process environment K for identify parameter. So it's a little bit about it could be at to be checking here any i hash and try to be looking for hash extender here so we have to be just trying with this hash extender for the get hash you have to be looking for inet.shell then you will get here export hash is like here then it's gonna be a time to be using it on or hash extender like that so could we try it um all right, so we got here iHash and who calls it and authentication ID is both one and one as if we can set admin through here trying to be um, using them for um, iHash, I think. So it was a button here is the most important is inet.shell as they call it here. They are exporting both authentication ID is both one and colon and bot. So we have to be focused on hash extender here to be using it. So you can try your hash extender. You can, I'm here for installing it is over there. Then you can try it on your machine and let's working with hash extender. So the first one, I was trying to be analyzing it as a secret minimum um, valuable is 80 and maximum valuable is 30 here. So why we are using it, it's because, you know, we try to be creating here the hash. So our I hash we got here and an authentication ID is bot one column bot. So we got here from here and I hash from there. So it was giving us the here from um, data formats is hex table here then we can try for when we access this is admin is true so it will show you too many things of this web server so the for the understanding them you just have to be go for the brute first attack i think so as the first column is here as hash type and and the second column is giving us the here I hash and the third column is identification for authentication a API. So is we found um you know at or the app JavaScript file so here is buffer bomb base64 and UTF8 and buffer from is like hex editor. So it could be important with um, change it them after we'll be changing citrates uh, minimum and maximum variable here will be equal to 23 and this one is also 23 
like here okay so we know our value is 23 here then it could be um useful with it so then we try and just converting it this is with base 64 and try to be using it so right now we can try um here for reading id rsi i think so let me try to be give it here how was it accessible okay it was could be like that right so i was try to be accessing Okay, when I was tried it on 3000 port file get file and config binary process information is root home, Layla, SSH and IDRSI. So if you're um, working about why we use as file get config binary process information self root home, Layla, SSH, IDRSI because of it was about to inet.shell we found them. So let's try to get here ID RSI. So it was be um, available with it. Then we just have to be copied that and echo and give them ID RSI here. So we are right now cutting ID RSI. We, we can reading it if we can access um executable it with ch mode id rsi then we can try to log in id rsi and layla.oja.htp here directly so it will be useful for us to be get here user.txt you know that user.txt was really hard for us then is the, the the most hardened things here after you um looking for um to crackable and looking for the file is who calls is live ever that so file you will be understanding is which one is more harder than so you just have to be go here okay let me go there and just have to be ls in here then we found here um, lf fire that so file so i was to be accessible and i can i mean you know it's i was on the yeah to be um, analyzing things so what i get it's actually here it was not um hurtful to me it was just understanding it for the count file of slash and how many a file on this so for the a file i was used that on those here rsi i mean sorry the rex file what was my um a file so in some the, the slash file is my was my um the crack one so um then i was released after ss um, there is an um, 9090 port is open. So then I was to be go for SSH dash I ID RSI dash L on 9090 port for Leila dot Oja dot HTTP. Then I was able to be get here local host on uh, so could be like here local house on 9099 port 10 to 4 here welcome user and the vbs in, and ink file so something like that so should we try here something different for example and let me go here intercept the zone and turn on my verb submit query what the fuck And the when I was the submit query here like that, um, I was thinking about myself. The should I try here for analyzing when I got here how many a, 
and how many um, two slashes here to try be analyzing it out here to let me use it again so I was changing it with CMD okay um, let me go here CMD firstly make dear CMD Okay, let me add it, my cmd command. Okay, right now we are available to be get here or Python file. So this could be our Python file here. And so it will be useful for us to be cmd.php then calls on to print file file wall. So then we try. So let me send it on repeater. All right. So if we can send it, it, it's giving us nothing here. But if we can use my scripts here directly. Okay. No, no. Scripts.python. Okay, cat scripts.python. So should we change CMD? Python 3, right now we can try scripts.python file that it is the um, right now is useful for us. We just have to be go here, add or host file. And we have to be just add it on our username, like that. So if we are added here or the username directly, so let me send it. It it's, has to be here at development and server management id then we can create here cmd.php but it's look like cmd.php aa i don't know why so then um it was to be able to be get here on cmd.php cmd.php dash o zero id was have to be work at it but right now it's not look like useful for us because it's really different name here so can we try maybe something different on our nuts maybe is it about that see here and here maybe no okay here right so the second one is here maybe it should be useful with like that um, to change it cmd php to cmd smd.php so let me try it one more time Invalid syntax, really? Um, ch -ch -ch. Okay. So let's just try again. OK. 
okay let's send it at one more time useful to add here will gonna be work no I wonder what was the work here wrong okay maybe I have to be try it. Um, with that, I don't know. Maybe it's useful here. The development CD server management ID. Make their TMP. So let's using it with like that. Okay, let me send it at one more time. And looking at Okay, our cmd.php is right now is available. So it's calling us here. It's this. Then we can try to be get reverse shell here directly, right? So we just have to be add here um to um looking for I mean so listening here and cat I mean and cat dash MLP then go just go for reverse shell. Okay, make for and URL and code. Boom! We are root right now. So that was really insane room. Uh, I was really bad at buying X is here, but the full tutorial was really easy. I was really like it. Uh, that was all. Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you again.